Oh, hi, this is Gabby with EcoWorthy. Today we're at Colorado Tiny House Festival. We sponsored one of the Renegade vans. Um, uh, we're here with uh, Nolan today. Hey, Nolan. Hi. Uh, could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. I'm Nolan Marsh. I am from New York originally. I uh, live in this camper van that I built out with my friends. I've been living in it full time for about a year now and uh, it's just been a, um, a labor of love construction mm -hmm. project put a lot of time and effort into and uh, yeah you think that's pretty cool um so when did you start living here and what's your motivation can I tell us the story yeah <laughs> so um Basically, before the van, I was living in New Orleans full time, mm -hmm. and I was gigging as a musician. I'm a drummer, and um, and the dog is a drummer too. The dog is a great musician. Um, no, I was gigging as a drummer full time, and then when the pandemic started and a lot of the venues closed in New Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, I was still paying a high rent in the city without um, the work really to supplement. Uh, my income and, and um, yeah, it, just, it was kind of an existential crisis moment of what am I doing, you know, where am I going, uh, and it just didn't feel right. So a friend of mine uh, was renting a little ranch house in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, you should come up and during the pandemic, you should come up and rent this house with me, it's $200 a month in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. and we split that, and I said, okay. So I moved up, the world was going crazy. Mm -hmm. And I saw this video online of somebody living in a van that was beautiful with a lot of woodwork. Mm -hmm. It looked like a mini cabin, and that's what really inspired me mm -hmm. because I love that aesthetic, and I wanted to incorporate that into a van. And then I thought, okay, well, I'm a musician, but I'm not playing music. Maybe I can bring the music with me. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I based this build around a little music studio. So mm -hmm. in the van, oh, yeah. I have a full 88p uh, keyboard, mm -hmm. um, my porthole windows that I have, the round window, are mm -hmm. framed with drums uh, that oh, I have actually. Cool, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, a drum was cut in half and mm -hmm. then um, put the rim on it and bought a, a red drum head cover. So I, it it was an effort to live more intentionally, to live like this, um, to incorporate my love of music and my love of travel into uh, one platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you like living in a I do. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a an enjoyable, crazy, spontaneous lifestyle. Yes. I would say it it provides the freedom to go wherever you want mm -hmm. when you want without with that without paying a rent, you know, you can bring your house with you. Of course, there are some sacrifices in that. If you imagine carrying around a big house, you know, it's a lot of weight, uh -huh. and or a tiny house rather, and you know, your gas mileage is going to decrease, and then with the prices yeah. of gas today, that's right. going to definitely affect mm -hmm. um, your cost of living. So from right. that standpoint, that would be a negative aspect of, of living in a vehicle today, um, depending on the vehicle you have. But uh, besides besides that it is such a it's such a beautiful unique lifestyle it, living in a smaller space mm -hmm. forces you to uh, be very intentional with the belongings that you have mm -hmm. whenever you're going out looking at something you like you're thinking okay can I can I see that in the van mm -hmm. is that gonna have a place and if it doesn't have a place uh, then you just don't get it because you're basing everything off of the space that you have and because of that it forces you to really think twice about mm -hmm. the things that you need. So there are many ways in, in, in which uh, living in a van has caused me to live more in a, of an intentional life. Let's I say. see. Yeah. Um, and what's the difference between living in a house and living in a van to you? Um, well, for me, I I uh, was told when I was younger that I could never sit still. Uh, my mother told me that, and my grandpa told me that. And mm -hmm. with a house, and, and being in one place, and working a nine to five, and having such a, uh, a routine, stable life, for a lot of people that brings them comfort. And for me, um, that uh, doesn't bring as much comfort. Uh, I kind of get the itch to go, and keep going, and keep going. Um, so living in a van offers this uh, platform where you know if I if I stay in one place mm -hmm. that's fine and mm -hmm. if I want to pick up and go well I, I can you mm -hmm. know and um, and yeah so 
I guess more freedom is the answer, mm -hmm. and it's more in line with my my personality. It's I see. I it fits you really well. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you want to say to those people who want to start van life? Any suggestion to them? Um, I would say do it. Just do it. Yeah. If you want to do it, if mm -hmm. you're thinking about doing it, you should absolutely do it. Uh, whether it's a van, whether it's a school bus, or a travel trailer, or or um, a tiny home or, mm -hmm. or anything, any uh, unique offbeat life adventure you want, just just do it because there, um, you know, there are a million reasons not to, and there mm -hmm. always will be. Oh, you know, gas is expensive. Oh, what am I going to do? I have so much stuff. Oh, I'm going to be worried about you know when my next paycheck is coming in. But nothing, in my opinion, um, is a substitute for the feeling of bliss that you have. Just be able to go around everywhere to park your home on top of a mountain, mm -hmm. you know, in the middle of a desert and just laugh at the absurdity of being in the middle of nowhere. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, a beautiful, fun lifestyle. So yeah. I would say absolutely do it. And you uh -huh. can do it. If you haven't built homes before or tiny homes, before this build, I had never held a power tool in my life, believe it or not. And I had amazing friends mm -hmm. who uh, showed me how to do, you know, everything, almost everything. And for the things that I couldn't do, I mm -hmm. asked for help, and, yeah, and right. I got help. And it, it it takes an army, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say absolutely do it. Yeah. Like, don't don't even think twice about it, and don't live it, listen to negativity that's telling you not to. Yeah, do just it. do if it. It's in your heart. Just do it, and just you'll figure it, it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, as I said before, we sponsor one of the Renegade brands, right? So uh, how do you get to know EcoWorthy? I got, got to know EcoWorthy online. Mm -hmm. um, I was searching for, uh, I think I was searching for deep cycle lithium batteries. Mm -hmm. I was searching for inverters uh, to use, uh, pure sine wave inverters for this vehicle that we were converting. Mm -hmm. And honestly, EcoWorthy just came up as one of the companies that provide uh, that provides these appliances so I reached out to you and, um, I uh, yeah just told you what we were up to and mm -hmm. you were so personable on the phone and friendly yeah. and um, there was an instant feeling of okay you know what this partnership would be great mm -hmm. uh, for both of our companies I was I was telling you that we were building out this camper for, right. for this festival as well mm -hmm. as the people's tiny house festival right uh, in mid-july and EcoWorthy uh, amazingly decided to sponsor us mm -hmm. for uh, both events for yeah. this build. And in turn, we're doing our best to spread uh, yeah. the word about yeah. the company and promote the company. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what EcoWorthy products are you using? Okay, we have um, 495 watt solar panels mm -hmm. that we have on the roof. We have a... Uh, all-in-one inverter, inverter. Mm -hmm. and we have two 50 amp 48 volt lithium but, deep cycle mm -hmm. batteries right um, so and a charge controller mm -hmm. you know um, that's built into the all-in-one yeah. right so what do you think of equal worthy products are they working great or? they've been very mm -hmm. easy to install mm -hmm. and um, great I mean it, it was we've installed a lot of different types of products different companies products whether they're deep cycle batteries or um, inverters or solar panels and mm -hmm. um, and it has been a pretty seamless transition into using ego worthy very easy to tra transition to those products and they haven't caused us any issues mm -hmm. we even liked especially the, the solar panels had um, mounting uh, the mounting, the, uh -huh. the uh, mounting brackets, pieces, mounting brackets that uh -huh. were unique to the ones we usually use Z brackets. Oh uh, yes. Um, but we really liked seeing that. Right. right. So that yeah. yeah, that was that was neat, and that was a unique unique little um, twist that we hadn't seen before. Right. Yeah, the inverter is great. It's the all-in-one product, mm -hmm. um, and that hasn't caused us any issues. And and if anything, the the power supply that we've been able to give this camper. Uh, with the help of EcoWorthy has allowed us to uh, power a bunch of neat appliances. Like we mm -hmm. have a, a built-in washer dryer. Right. Mm -hmm. and, um, we have an uh, air evaporative cooler mm -hmm. um, in the ceiling that basically substitutes as uh, an air conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a high-powered max air fan. We have a fridge, freezer, yeah. stand -up, um, and oven range. That's propane though. Um, but but it's just allowed us to have such a great battery bank with reliable products. So yeah. yeah. Um, but besides that, any suggestion on equal worthy products? 
Um, any suggestion on eco-worthy products? From the standpoint of the products themselves, um, I don't necessarily think I have suggestions how they could be better because I think they're very competitive. They're mm -hmm. good compared to other products in the market.